everybody. Welcome to the third installment of the Herb Shop. First and foremost, I am quite annoyed. See this guy right here? It's a Chinese water dragon. Why do I have it? The local pet store, uh, I have a friend of mine who works there. Uh, he came to me and brought this to me and said a guy came to the pet store and said, my son can't take care of this anymore. You guys take it. His first reaction was, well, listen, I'll tell you how to take care of it. The guy didn't want it to have it taken care of. He wanted to give it away. And he claimed, he said, uh, if you don't take this animal, I'm letting it go. I live in North Carolina. Yeah. Chinese water dragon. Not to mention that it is, uh, late October and it's starting to get really cold out. What kind of people cannot comprehend taking care of an animal? Ser seriously, I mean, you have another being's life in your hand and suddenly you don't want to take care of it anymore? Okay, those of you who have children, could you imagine the fact you just saying one day, um, I can't take care of my children anymore. I'm just gonna give them away, or I'm gonna let it go outside. You don't do that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm frankly quite annoyed to the fact that people will get animals, and they'll take care of them for a week, two weeks, uh, and then obviously absolutely forget all about them, and, uh, and not want to take care of them anymore. And a lot of animals suffer or uh, or die because of it. So, um, I don't know. Quite frankly, I'm highly annoyed. If you guys can see, he's not in the greatest condition. He's, uh, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. He's, uh, he's really super skinny. You can see his, uh, his backbone and the worst of it all, if you can see his face here. You're right, you're right, you're right. You can see his face. The camera has a hard time getting focused in. You can see the near side view of it. How could you let an animal get to be like that? I've got... Maybe handful and a half snakes, and maybe two handfuls of geckos. Um, and at this moment, every single one of my animals is perfectly healthy. Now, um, if you stay right here, um, I have another thing to show you, a ball python. So, give me one moment. Okay, welcome back. I had to go next door and, uh, get this ball python. Now, let me tell you the story of this little ball python. I have a buddy of mine who, uh, who breeds ball pythons, and he produced last year some pastels and sold to some woman. Um, sold it to a lady, along with a normal. The woman kept contacting Kyle and saying, uh, you need to come with this ball python because he's not eating. And it was a year ago. Kyle went over and told him to do and said they do it. Um, before I show you this, I'm going to finish my story. Um, maybe, I'm going to say three weeks ago, uh, the lady brought the ball python up to the pet store where my buddy Adam works and uh, said, you need to take this and get it better and then bring it back. Okay, first of all, you don't take it to a pet store and say, make it better and then I want it back. It doesn't work. Second of all, if you have two small ball pythons, year old. You don't put them in the same tank and feed them at the same time. What's wrong with you? 
third of all, if you're feeding ball pythons, generally you watch them eat if, they're, if it's live food. Because the last thing you need is a snake to um, be harmed by mouse. Now, when Adam brought the snake to me, he said you need to look what's inside this bag. He brought it in the bag. And I looked at it, and the first thing I saw absolutely broke my heart. And it's this snake. Mind you, this is a pastel ball python. was a basketball ball python. And you can see how absolutely horrible she looks. She had mites. Obviously I uh, had her separated from other snakes. She no longer has mites, thanks to me. Um, just look at this. Absolutely horrible. She's skinny. She was skinny. She's eating now by herself. Um, and if you can see here, a mouse actually um, was chewing on her when the lady had her. Um, she's looking a little bit better than she has been. Um, she's starting to slowly get her color back. But uh, how could you absolutely uh, do this to another being? something that has a heartbeat and you're interested in its life. Um, I don't know, it just breaks my heart to see people mistreating uh, animals, even reptiles, um, regardless of how bad their reputation has been. Um, this just, this just forced me. I'm not a huge ball python fan, but you know what? It doesn't matter. This girl right here, she was born into this world and she has a a life and she needs she deserves to live it out and I don't know it just breaks my heart I don't understand why people do that and especially with that boy back there that you know, Chinese water dragon and this pastel ball python I don't understand I just don't understand people half the time but if you guys have any horrible stories like this you'd like to share or Go ahead and comment below. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm absolutely floored at how uh, humans can treat other animals. So, you guys take care and hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience here and realize how much uh, of anger I am in with uh, humankind and realize how absolutely horrible we are um, for treating these animals like this. Um, you guys take care.